if golf did pornography, this is what it would look like. This place is literally the nuts. I am so excited and I can't believe I now have this at my work. I am so lucky. Thank you to the members and Duncan. This is such a great addition to our golf club. The things that you can do, how exciting this is for just general play, coaching, club fitting. I'm going to play a few holes around Celtic Manor, the 2010 course, um, uh, and just show you a few things that it can do. But there's just so much. There's so many videos and so many ideas that I can now do with this. Not only that, but obviously long drive practice. This is huge. Like pre-season, the majority of events are actually just played on Foresight GC2 numbers. Um, so me getting up to the 400 yard drives and whatnot, it's going to be crucial about practicing in here. Like, I'm just too excited, beyond belief. Obviously we've got all the fitting stuff on the walls there, but it's going to be great for testing obviously the brand new stuff against all the cheap and old and second hand stuff as well. Um, we're able to obviously use Pro V1, so obviously testing is going to be a lot more um, uh, consistent depending on what balls you're using. Oh, guys, it looks unreal in here. I highly recommend coming down to Burford. Um, if you just want to come and play in it, it's going to be open for general play. It's going to be open for lessons. It's going to be open for club fits. Um, uh, and then also in the evenings, potentially, I could set up some contests, nearest things, long drive contests. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you're in the area, I highly recommend you obviously come down here uh, to Burford Golf Club. Um, and obviously come and try this out if you haven't used this before. It's literally just awesome. As I said, I'm just going to play a few holes. Just give you an idea of how it works. Um, but yeah, there's loads of videos, loads of long drive stuff I obviously want to get into. And reviews and everything else. If you want to see anything in particular, please leave a comment below. Um, and hopefully this gets better. Obviously it's the first time I've ever filmed in here. so. Hopefully content wise is going to obviously get better and I need to figure out how to film in obviously this room a bit better as well. Right, it's enough talking. I feel like I'm ready to hit a golf ball. Let's get into it. Guys, Celtic Manor 2010 course. Quick little flyover to start off with. This is so exciting. Like, I have this on tap. I'm never going home. Like, why would you bother going home? Alternatively, get one of these at your home. It's gonna cost a lot, that is for sure, but worth it, 100%. Now I've just gotta make sure I can get this so I can put GCT. Okay, that should work. Hopefully, you kinda of wanna be able to hit the driver's arms without keep moving it all the time. Right, 446. So it's got like a little course map on the side here. I'm gonna work on the graphics as much as I can. It's gonna be the quickest video I can make. Um, and I'm going to be making loads of videos this week, but obviously I want to hit it and then you just see the flyover rather than just see the screen. But we'll work on the graphics and as we go on, but I just want to experiment and show you guys um, uh, how it all works. So, 463, cheeky little par four, not much to it as you can see. Um, uh, working on these fades, trying to get more neutral with my lesson with Lee. Right, here we go. hook. Not ideal. Not what we're after. Don't go in the bush. As you can see, I'm just as bad at virtual golf as real golf. So that's always exciting. So how far have we got? One, five, four. I actually haven't got that far in. He's taken off the corner. It's all about knowing your yardages. So I'm in the bushes. I don't know how much it's going to actually react with me being in the bushes or not. But we'll see. So. Uh, where's the stick? Where's it aiming? Oh, it's aiming me back left the green. Okay. 154. I've got 9 iron because I'm in the rough. Feel like this could be a good one. Let's just send a sneaky little fade down there. He got over the bush, which is fantastic news. Sure. No one likes to see that. No one likes to see that. 
Got a tough little chip coming as well by the looks of things. Right, how far have we got? So 20 yard chip, you can see like the green mat there. You want to keep left of the flag. Get this in range so you can read it, good. Chipping, question mark, who knows? Probably not with my chipping skills. Wow, greens are fast. Green keepers been out, they've been ironing obviously this morning. Greens are being fast and it's auto putt. Put it on auto putt just to save me time and hassle. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be crucial. I'm gonna say I missed that. First putt of the day. So we made bogey on the first. Not ideal. What have we got now? Par five, here we go. This is more of what I'm talking about. Par five time. <clears throat> so I want you guys to let me know what you want to see more of. Do you want to see uh, long drive stuff? Do you want to see reviews? Do you want to see um, playing holes, playing holes against other people? Um, uh, I don't really care, as long as I'm in here hitting this thing. Arguably, do you want me to see stuff outside anymore? Hopefully not. Right, down the middle, again, pretty tight looking fairway here. Nice straight one. Get that ball compressed, boy. Mmm, felt good. Yeah, I'm liking the rough. I think I'm always in the rough, to be perfectly honest. I think that's just a standard practice for Simon. How far have we got now? 318. Wow. I think I'm just going to be sensible here. I'm just going to hit 318, I'm going to hit 4 on, leave myself a wedge into the green. Make a traditional birdie. It's not all about the big things. Plus, I haven't hit three wood off the deck for God knows how long. Rarely ever hit that shot. Okay, four iron. Nice little cut. I'm that. Oh, baby. That is nice. That is real nice. Pro V1s again getting churned up the flat there. Coming straight off their face. Um, well, how far did that go? Well, I've got 95, so anyone about two times 200. I'm feeling a little gap. Have I got my gap in my bag? That is the ultimate question. Oh, it's over. Ready. Nice. Okay. Gap wedge. In to the flag. 95 yards. Nice. Big green here. I don't know if they spin a lot, these greens. It's ridiculous how I spin. Like, if maybe if you played in America, you would get these kind of reaction, but you don't get that much in England. So I'm used to normally putting it before the flag here, you have to put it like 10 foot past the flag to get it close. I said I pushed that, I didn't feel like I push. See, tiny little bit of check there, even though it's a 95 mil shot, and again, auto putt, how far have I got? 11 yards to the putt. So yeah, probably a two putt. So par there, simple game. Hole three. God, you literally fly around in the course for oh. Right, not sure what happened there. Camera went really out of focus. Anyway, part of the last hole, don't know when it went out of focus. Par three now. About 180 to the flag, something like that. Seven iron. What are you saying? Seven iron at the flag. I wonder if this actually helps you playing golf. Do you know what I mean? Like, does this actually, be interesting to know how much obviously practice is, how much it actually helps your golf thing, uh, and everything else like that. Probably a lot, I don't know. Okay, seven iron at the flag, holding one time, viral video. Well, if it's the club, that looks good. Now, I'd never do that on a golf course though, do you know what I mean? That would never happen on a golf course. I'd be like, miles away. Come on, I'm giving myself a birdie there. I know anyone that's been a part of the channel for a long time will know that's an easy three putt for me, but you know what, I don't care. I'm giving it to myself. Right, hole four. Is this a long one? Is this a short one? Not too short at this point. Four, six, one, yeah, long one. Where's the core? 
bunker, clear that, why not clear that? Right. It'd be great to have some matches in it. I'd love to have a match against someone in here. Forfeits and everything. Right, let's crunch a drive. I feel well, I'm feeling good now. Let's get a good drive out. Oh, that's hooky, really? Really? That's poor, that's bad. Get on the bench, get on the bench. Yeah, he's on the tee box. That is what you play for. You've got to know the course. Playing for the course. That is, um, that's a poor shot, but it's definitely a good yard of gin, to be fair. Right, eight iron. Let's grab some of these golf balls. Right. Eight iron off the ladies' tee box. As everyone knows, down here, the fourth at the 2010 course is the play. After you snap it, massively off the tee. I just love the aerial visuals, it looks so cool. Like, goals are having one of these at your home. Literally, you would never do anything. Just play all day long. Arguably, is this better than real golf? Comment below, is this better than real golf? I don't know. I think because it's new, I'm so excited. I think obviously it's different playing real golf, but like, it's just fun. This is what makes golf fun. People would actually play golf a lot more if this was like what it's like. Mate, this course is long. Four, five, six again. Wow. I mean, it doesn't really surprise me considering obviously with the tournaments held at such a course, but when you used to play like six, five courses and then you come to like seven, four, especially if you snap it off the tee every time. Right, fade, fade. Drive straight. Oh baby, that's it. That's the one. That's gone. Not bad, not bad. Especially for the knockdown shot there. Knockdown, what's my ball speed there? Oh, I didn't tell me. Imagine it's about the 170 mark. Especially as I'm not going after them as well. Right, 140 left into the flag. Pretty good. Um, 140, 140, let's go wedge. Right, I'm gonna leave this as the last hole, I think. Oh, yeah, hard four, yeah. I'm gonna leave this as the last hole. Um, uh, but as I say, guys, let me know what you wanna see more of. Um, if you like this video, hopefully you do, because there's gonna be a lot more to come. And if you're subscribed or not, then please do. And um, watch me hold this shot. Wow. Oh, oh no, 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 <laughs> no, what a shocker that is, what a shocker, that is poor, let's be hit, let's, what did I go in with, wedge, 140, alright, maybe I've just been a bit arrogant there to be perfectly honest, a bit arrogant, I've probably hit Way too soft. Hmm. I'm going to throw it massively fast. Oh, those greens are tough. Those greens are tough. Right, guys, let's finish there. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's a quick peek of basically my new love of my life. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. There's loads more to come. Leave me some suggestions below what you want to see specifically. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later.